Hey guys, I'm just taking advantage of this nice sunny day here in Alberta. So I just wanted to introduce a new mini hive anchor. Um, it's called the Lollygagger. It's a logo. That's a name my 10 year old picked out. So I thought it was kind of fitting. I put it on there. That's the logo I made up. Still need a few parts and pieces yet that's being fabricated so I'm hoping to get the, everything completed within a week or two. It's an 8 inch by 36 inch main sluice and it's followed by a 14 by 36 inch extension or flare. The main hopper is about 7.5 by 34 inches. So in this flare I went with a uh, hog mat. I done the scrubber, the Razorback scrubber configuration. And in the main sluice I done the UR with a quarter inch raised expanded. I just have a flat expanded now just as a visual, as a demonstration that's it will be uh, it will be replaced. So I'm going to be feeding this hopefully with the WX15 or WH15 Honda water pump. I have to complete some more calculations and uh, and see which is going to work best for me. I'm kind of hoping the WX15 will be uh, will be the one to keep the portability and keep the weight down as I pack or truck this through the woods. So obviously it's an inch and a half inlet. I choked it down to inch and a quarter spray bars on either side. In the hopper itself, I'm going to be putting uh, carpet first. Then the hog moss, and then quarter inch or half inch expand it raised on top of that. I got uh, quarter inch rods by quarter inch spacing for my grizzlies. They extend nicely over. I also on the very bottom here I put uh, I put a back plate so it can be raised up. I don't like water shooting out the back so I kind of designed that so it'll hopefully keep the water inside as well as any suspended fine gold. So on the inside I made up this ramp. It's got adjustments on there forward and back in hopes to slow the water down before it hits the expanded metal. I'm going to be installing punch plate back there to try and keep the fine gold instead of it being washed away and washed down through the sluice box. So on the very back you can see hopefully yeah there's the adjustment there for the for the back plate you can raise it up or lower it I haven't got the screws in any of this yet, so there'll be some screws in there. I also got a drop pan here. It can be moved forward or backwards, depending on where you want the water to fall in your main box. The grizzlies are mounted in between, bolted in there. So the unit itself came together pretty nicely. I'm quite happy with it. Nice clean lines on the fabrication. The top hopper is made out of uh, 0.1 aluminum and the bottom main sluice and the extension is made out of 0.08. I really like uh, good quality stuff, I like good workmanship and I just hope that uh, this unit kind of reflects that. So, um, yeah, I've been reading lots about the fine gold, fine gold recovery. How fine gold actually acts in water and how it's suspended in water. So I'm hoping this system will help me to get some of that fine gold. I plan on doing uh, lots of prospecting out in the Caribou and through the Kootenays as well as here in, uh, here in Alberta and some of the river systems here. 
again I just uh, yeah the pump not too sure yet WX15 WH15 we'll see what the calculations bring and uh, go from there but nevertheless it looks like uh, it's going to be a fun summer and uh, hopefully to uh, meet some some guys out there on the rivers and I'll have my family with me hopefully and that's what it's all about so thanks for watching this video and I will uh, make another one once I get the legs on and hopefully get uh, some material run through it. So thanks again and have a great day.